First up, we have the best overall barbell, which is going to be the Rogue Ohio Bar. The regular Ohio Bar is my favorite barbell for your home gym. Since I bring it up so often, you can tell it deserves all the praise it gets. One of my favorite things about this barbell from Rogue is all the colors you can get with it. You can get different combinations for your shafts and sleeves to make something truly unique for your home gym. Here are just a few off the top of my head. Black on black, red on black, blue and chrome, red and chrome, and a whole lot more. As you can see, there are many different options to choose from. So if you want a barbell you'll never tire of looking at because it fits your style, this is it. That's not even the best part though. It's a Rogue Ohio bar. That's all you need to know. Rogue is the gold standard for strength equipment. That being said, I highly recommend any of their bars without a doubt. If you haven't looked at my Rogue buying guide, you definitely should as I go over all of Rogue's best equipment, including, you guessed it, Ohio bars. You can check that out in the description box below. Powerlifting is all about lifting the most weight possible on a squat, bench press, and deadlift. While there are specialty bars available for each, you should invest in a power bar designed to deal with super heavy weights to get the best bang for your buck. First up, we have the best power bar, and that's going to be the Texas Power Bar. Some of the strongest lifters in history have used Texas Power Bars. The shaft has a couple of options between bare steel, black zinc, and chrome. And the sleeves themselves are also available in chrome and bare steel plating, depending on your preference. This bar is a little shorter than the Texas Deadlift Bar at 86 inches, and it also has a 28.5 millimeter diameter, 190,000 tensile strength, very aggressive knurling, as well as a center knurl. The Texas Power Bar is perfect for lifting heavy weights and not fussed with different squat, deadlift, and bench bars. Plus, the original goal with this barbell was to replace the crappy knurled grips that became slick after a few years. If you need the best Power Bar overall, I honestly think the Texas Power Bar is never going to let you down and it's the best option for you. So who exactly should buy a Power Bar? Any lifters that compete or plan to compete in powerlifting are probably going to want to pick up a Power Bar over anything else. Those that want more aggressive neural to maximize their grip strength is definitely going to want to pick one of these up as well. And any athletes that just want to do the power lifts and nothing else, a Power Bar is going to be perfect. As for who shouldn't buy a Power Bar, any Olympic weightlifters or other athletes that need smoother spinning sleeves and more whip, powerlifters that want a specialty squat or deadlift bar, and those that want to do a variety of lifts and not just the power lifts. Olympic weightlifting is a sport that many people recognize from the Olympics. Weightlifters compete in the snatch as well as the clean and jerk, which require a ton of power and control to train efficiently. Listen, if you want the best barbell for Olympic weightlifting with no expenses spared, the Rogue IWF approved Olympic weightlifting bar is what you need to get. I'm sure I just mentioned that it's IWF approved, right? That means the International Weightlifting Federation recognizes its durability, feel, and overall performance. The shaft has a 215,000 PSI tensile rating with friction welded sleeves, a non-abrasive neural, and high quality needle bearings. It's no wonder it's so highly recommended by so many. This is the best weightlifting bar by far, so check it out now if you want to learn more. Who should buy a weightlifting bar? Any Olympic weightlifters who want to train with an IWF approved bar to mimic competition as much as possible should be picking up a weightlifting bar. Those that need a barbell designed to be dropped and have a ton of whip to flex and absorb force, and any lifters that only train Olympic lifts, squat and front squats, and overhead presses. Who shouldn't buy a weightlifting bar? For those with a much lower budget, weightlifting bars are much pricier than any other type of barbell on average, so you have to keep that in mind. Powerlifters should invest in power or even a multi-purpose bar instead of a pure weightlifting bar. And anybody who wants less whip and more aggressive knurling for their type of lifting should go with a multi-purpose bar or a power bar as well. Multi-purpose bars, or general purpose bars as they're sometimes called, are what I recommend for most lifters. Here are a couple of reasons you should invest in this type of barbell over any others. First is going to be the price. Multi-purpose bars tend to be priced well compared to pricier weightlifting bars with similar features. The second is going to be the knurling. The knurling is usually more medium depth than a more aggressive power bar. They also have dual neural marks which make it easy to set up for Olympic and power lifts alike. Then there's the fact that there's a variety of lifts you can do. It's not a great idea to bench press with the weightlifting bar or clean and jerk using a power bar. And that's why a multi-purpose bar that allows you to train all the lifts is so awesome. If you combine all the above points, a multi-purpose bar is going to be the best bang for your buck overall. They allow you to do any lift you want without investing in a bunch of different barbells that have other purposes. The best multi-purpose bar is going to be the Rogue Chan Bar. The Rogue Chan Bar was co-developed with Matt Chan, a multiple top 10 finisher at the CrossFit Games. So to say this custom-made barbell is a fantastic all-around bar is an understatement. It has a Cerakote finish, which is very popular in the gun industry because of its durability, and it provides better corrosion, abrasion, and wear than standard black zinc finishes. This newer model has a stainless steel shaft rated at 200,000 PSI, making it a beast of a bar perfect for any type of lifting. If you want one of the best multi-purpose barbells and potentially the best one overall, the Rogue Chan Bar is a great option. Who should invest in a multi-purpose bar? Home gym owners that want a single barbell that can handle all lifts should definitely, you know, invest in a multi-purpose bar instead of anything else. Lifters that prefer a more medium depth neural for a solid grip without biting into your hands, like a more aggressive power bar. 
And those that have a smaller budget and they don't want to invest in a weightlifting bar for their Olympic lifting should definitely check out a multi-purpose bar, especially the Rogue Chan bar. It's great. As for who shouldn't buy a multi-purpose bar, if you're a power lifter and you need a specialized power squat or deadlift bar, I wouldn't recommend getting one of these. Anybody that prefers a sharper, aggressive knurling for the best grip possible might want to steer clear from multi-purpose bars as well. And weightlifters that require more whip and spin from their bars are probably going to, you know, want to get a weightlifting bar. Simple as that. CrossFit is one of the most popular strength and endurance sports in the world. It's all about functional training, perform with high intensity, and that's why the best CrossFit bars are going to have a ton of similarities to multi-purpose bars, so you can do wads with a variety of movements. CrossFit combines Olympic lifting, powerlifting, and other similar types of training, so you need a good barbell that can do it all. The main difference between a CrossFit bar and a standard Olympic bar is that CrossFit bars need to have increased durability. These bars can handle being dropped and cycled through for high repetition and heavier strength work. Bottom line, you want a bar that can handle heavy weights, has a solid neural that's not going to destroy your hands from higher rep work, and it needs to absorb force as well. Our best CrossFit bar is going to be the Rogue Bar 2.0. The Rogue Bar 2.0 is a next generation 28.5 millimeter diameter Olympic bar, fully machined and constructed right in Columbus, Ohio at the Rogue Factory. It features 190,000 PSI tensile strength steel, grooved sleeves with customizable band colors, as well as composite bushings that are definitely durable. This is version 2.0 of the original Rogue Bar, but it still has dual neural marks for Olympic and powerlifting movements. This makes it the best bar for CrossFit, which is why you're here, am I right? Also, because Rogue is just so innovative, the composite bearings are self-lubricating, meaning they lube themselves up as they spin, which is pretty convenient, I must say. That makes these perfect for high rep training while still minimizing friction for a reliable spin overall. Plus, this Olympic barbell has been used during the CrossFit Games ever since this bar came into fruition. If the top CrossFit athletes in the world use this in competition, you know it's going to be good enough for anybody. Check out the Rogue Bar 2.0 so you can start crushing wads now. Now you might be thinking, who should buy a CrossFit bar? CrossFitters, of course. Many CrossFit bars have different barbell weights, which is essential for higher rep, wad style training. Those who want dual neural grips for heavier power in Olympic lifts, or even higher rep Olympic lifting. Any lifters that plan on dropping bars from overhead positions as they require a more durable barbell should definitely invest in a CrossFit bar. As for who shouldn't buy a CrossFit bar, power lifters or Olympic weight lifters that need a more specialized barbell for the sport should definitely, you know, get those bars instead. Any lifters that want a more aggressive knurling for the strongest grip possible should probably invest in something like a power bar. And if you want a little more whip or even a stiffer bar overall, I would go with a weightlifting bar. For beginner lifters, the best barbell is going to allow you to do many different lifts. This is important for a beginner as most of you watching this probably don't know what type of lifting you want to do just starting out. Imagine buying a power bar and finding out later you want to do more Olympic lifting or vice versa. So instead, getting a barbell that can do it all is an excellent idea. Another thing that you should consider is how sharp the knurling is. Beginners don't have a lot of calluses built up, which is going to hurt more with an aggressive knurling. But the best beginner bar is going to be the Force USA Ranger barbell. The Ranger barbell from Force USA is the perfect beginner barbell if you want something incredible that's not going to break the bank. This bar is standard knurling and whip with dual neural marks, so it's designed for anybody that wants to lift heavy weights and work on their Olympic lifts. The sleeves have two needle bearings combined with bronze bushings to provide a smooth feel and solid spin. The Ranger Barbell's 170,000 PSI tensile strength and 1,500 pound static weight rating are going to be plenty as you progress in strength for years to come. All in all, if you're a beginner just starting out and you need a quality bar that you'll never have to upgrade, the Ranger Barbell is for you. Who should buy your beginner bar? Beginner lifters, duh. But also those who don't know what type of lifting they want to do and just need a bar that can do anything they decide to train. Any beginner that might need a lighter barbell weight until they get stronger, I know a lot of beginners might need a lighter barbell weight starting out, so luckily a lot of beginner bars come in 10, 15, and even 20 kilos as usual. Any lifters that need less aggressive knurling as well as dual neural marks for power lift and Olympic lifts will benefit from, from getting a beginner bar. Beginner lifters that need less aggressive knurling not to stray their hands as well as dual neural marks for power and Olympic lifts will benefit from getting a beginner bar for sure. Now who shouldn't buy a beginner bar? More experienced lifters who are already specialized in the power lifting or Olympic lifting. Any lifters who need more whip and spin for Olympic lifting. And those that need more aggressive knurling for power lifting training. Barbells made just for deadlifting are pretty interesting. They have more aggressive of knurling like a typical power bar, but they also have a thinner shaft than even weightlifting bars for greater whip and grip. This makes deadlifting much easier than lifting with a stiff bar as the bar can flex under heavy weights so you can break the plates off of the ground much easier. The best deadlift bar is going to be the Texas deadlift bar. This is the official Texas deadlift bar by Buddy Caps that he first constructed in 1980. Since then, the strongest lifters in the world have crossed deadlift records left and right with this badass bar. The length of this bar is pretty impressive. At 92.5 inches with 18 inch sleeves, you can load it up with all the weight in your gym. It has incredible 
incredibly aggressive knurling to maximize grip strength so you never have to drop another PR again. The shaft comes in either bare steel, black zinc, and chrome, while the sleeves are available in chrome and bare steel. If you want the absolute best deadlift bar and you just so happen to be an experienced lifter, the Texas deadlift bar is pretty much what you want. Who should buy a deadlift bar? Lifters that want a bar with more whip for deadlifts should get a deadlift bar. Easy, right? If you have a history of dropping your deadlift PRs because the knurling's not aggressive enough, well, deadlift bars have probably the most aggressive knurling you can get, so you're never gonna drop a deadlift again. And anybody that needs a better grip on the bar is gonna love a 27 millimeter diameter bar because you can wrap around the bar a lot easier. It's as simple as that. Now, as for who shouldn't buy a deadlift bar, if you're a power lifter and you just want one bar instead of multiple specialized bar, just get a power bar. Lifters who want a less aggressive knurl overall, and those that are interested in doing a variety of lifts that might prefer a multi-purpose bar instead. Women's barbells are lighter and the shaft itself tends to have a 25 millimeter diameter that's gonna allow for a better grip for smaller hands. I've trained many clients in the past and most of them just so happen to be women. I know that if they had a women's bar, it would be a lot easier for them to lift without the barbell slipping out of their grasp. Luckily, there's a bunch of incredible women's barbells out there because society is starting to realize that, yeah, women lift as well and they kick ass at it. For the best women's barbell, we have the Bomba Bar V3. This is the best women's barbell I've ever come across and it's made by French Sport. It's constructed in the USA with the Alabama steel and has a black Cerakote finish, making for a sleek looking barbell, I must say. This comes with the added benefit of corrosion, resistance, abrasion, wear, and of course, impact strength. This is the perfect general use barbell due to the combination of needle bearings and moderate width. The lifetime warranty they offer shows it's built to last, so you're not gonna have to worry about getting a replacement bar anytime soon. The Bomber Bar V3 is by far the best barbell for women on the market, so check it out if you're interested. Who should buy a women's bar? This one, um, let's see, are you a woman with smaller hands? Then yes, you should absolutely invest in a women's bar. If you're a female Olympic weightlifter and you want a specialized bar to excel in your sport, then getting a women's bar is a great idea. And of course, beginner female lifters that need a lighter bar while starting out are gonna have much easier time learning how to squat, how to deadlift, how to bench, and you know, do Olympic lifting as well if you have that women's bar with, you know, 15 kilograms is a lot lighter than a 20 kilogram bar, so it's definitely helpful. As for who shouldn't buy a women's bar? Female lifters that compete in other sports such as powerlifting. If you're a female lifter, you have to lift with a standard barbell and you probably want something that's a little bit stiffer like a power bar anyways. And then finally, lifters that want a wider diameter bar because not every single female lifter is gonna have smaller hands, so that's something to consider as well. Everybody knows that gym equipment from Amazon is hit or miss. Sometimes it's great, most of the time though, it's just shit, to put it bluntly. Just because they have affordable prices doesn't mean they're worth buying from. Luckily, a few companies with reliable equipment are much higher quality than everything else Amazon sellers offer. For those where you're buying from anybody other than Amazon, you have peace of mind knowing that you're protected if something's wrong with your order, or or you just want a refund. Jazzy, no. The best Amazon barbell, and that's gonna be the Synergy Game Cerakote Barbell. The Synergy Game Cerakote Barbell has various color options and men and women's bars. The black and red Cerakote finishes come in both women's 15 kilograms and men's 20 kilogram options. In contrast, the pink Cerakote finish is only available as a women's bar. It has a solid 1,500 pound weight capacity and 190,000 PSI tensile strength rating. Plus, with five needle bearings per sleeve, you can be sure to get a solid spin with Olympic lifts and still have dual neural markings for power lifts as well. This is the best barbell on Amazon, so check it out and give it a shot. I definitely think it's worth it. Who should buy a barbell from Amazon? Anybody that wants to take advantage of free shipping as not many major brands offer it these days. Any lifter who wants a solid bar at reasonable prices without worrying about bad customer service. And of course, anybody that's building their first garage gym and just needs something to start lifting with now as are almost always in stock. As for who shouldn't buy a barbell from Amazon, any lifter that wants something higher quality for around the same price, and I'm sure a lot of you know that there are more reputable companies on Amazon with solid customer service and more reliable equipment overall. So if that's you, just go with Rogue, go with Rep Fitness, go with Titan Fitness, Fitness, any of the other companies that I've gone over many, many times before, all of them are gonna be perfect and they're all gonna have similar price points compared to what you see here. And anyone that's fine with paying shipping prices for better barbells from Rogue or other premium equipment should do so because you're gonna get a much better bar. And yes, you're gonna to have to pay more for it and you're gonna to have to pay for shipping. But in the long run, I definitely think it's worth it. Let me know what videos you wanna see next and check out this playlist here to learn about the best barbells. Until next time.